Hey guys, King Cade here and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna be giving you all some beginner tips and tricks on arm wrestling simulator Let's get right into this So these tips are mainly for people in worlds 1 2 and 3 But I guess you can also use them if you're in world like 4 and 5 as well So they pretty much work for everyone So what I recommend doing whenever you first join the game What I recommend doing is just go ahead and grab one of these hand things over here Just grind strength until you can defeat this person right here It shouldn't take too long because it only says like 50 strength recommended so it's gonna take you like 20 seconds to save up that much strength which let's go ahead and see which i think that's actually close because this person has 100 strength so if you can't beat him just save up like maybe 200 strength beat this person once and then you'll get one win and then what you can do with that one win is just head over here and open up one of these eggs because these eggs are really op for people in worlds one and two and three but worlds one and two these pets are gonna carry y'all all the way through them and if y'all don't want to grind strength i believe you can click on the store icon right here click on codes and i believe if you use code axel just like this and you verify i already redeemed it but i think that would give you 50 wins so that's enough wins to open up 50 of these eggs and you can get some pretty good pets probably either purple dragons or overseers those ones are really good so i recommend just opening up some of these like let's go ahead and open up like three of them real quick so here we go so let's open up three and we got evil overseers for all of them so let's go ahead and check those out so i believe those do 105 each so here they are so times 105 each that is really op for world one and world two see like if we go ahead and open up one of these and we got a magic mage that one is that one right there let's go ahead and see how good that is and it only does times 9.5 and this one is times 105 so really recommend opening up these even if you do only get purple flamingos they're still really good because these do times 57 so that's still really good for world one and world two and i forgot to mention these eggs only cost one win so really easy and really cheap to open and then once you have those just go ahead and grind a little bit of strength it shouldn't take too long until you have enough strength to beat this person if you are gaining strength kind of slow i do recommend rebirthing a little bit it is pretty cheap at the beginning so yeah, then just go ahead and grind 50,000 wins head over to the world 2 area right over here then what i recommend doing is you can also go ahead and go over here go to codes and right here it will say follow those people and then if you type in your twitter username it will go ahead and give you like a plus 15 percent boost which is really good if you don't have twitter you can just type in kinkade underscore like this we already did use a code so it might not work whenever it says follow these people for codes and then it says like type in your username for a plus 15 percent boost you can just type in kinkade underscore click verify and that will give you a plus 15 percent boost which is pretty nice also before y'all even like start grinding i recommend joining a friend boost private server i have a friend boost private server on my discord server and they also have a whole channel for friend boost private servers on the kubo discord server which is the arm wrestling similar discord server and that will give you a friend boost because every time you're in a private server well actually any server and you have friends in them you can go ahead and get a plus 10 percent friend boost for every friend that's in the server so i'm in a private server right now with all of these people who are on my friends list so i have a plus 80 percent friend boost and that means i gain plus 80 percent strength every time that i go ahead and like grind strength and there is also a times two strength weekend and also they added this brand new thing in the previous update where for every minute that you are in the same server you'll get a plus one percent strength boost the max that it goes to is 120 percent so if you stay in the same server for two hours you'll get a plus 120 percent boost which is really good so that's a total of a 200 percent boost if you combine this with the friend boost and then it's a plus 400 percent boost if you also have the times to strength weekend so that's so just really good those will really help you out but once you're in world 2 what i recommend doing is don't open up any eggs because these eggs aren't good either like let's go ahead and open up one so we got tetra that's the six percent six percent one it only does times 81.6 so yeah that is not as good as the limited egg in world one so yeah so i just recommend grinding that until you can get some like maybe huge evil overseers and that will carry you through this area so once you're in this area also don't worry about enchanting anything in this area because you won't have enough rebirths if you really want to you can enchant something with like winner winner one or lucky one i recommend just getting the winner winner enchant don't give the best friend or the lucky enchant those are terrible only get the winner enchant probably get the winner winner one because you probably won't have enough for like winner winner two or three so i recommend getting that also by the way these do cost rebirths so that means it will reset your rebirths depending on how much you spend so be aware of that also don't worry too much about the gold machine either so yeah so just make sure that you rebirth quite a bit and then you can go ahead and defeat these people also i forgot to mention make sure that you do grab an arm so click on this arm tab click on crates for every new player every new player starts off with three rust keys and five rust crates so just click on a rust crate and go ahead and spin it you won't get a very good arm but even like this one right here a plus 25 percent that's still pretty good because like let's go ahead and unequip this one so right now let's see how much i have so let's lift this so i currently have 137.9 qi and if i go ahead and equip the arm that i 
just got, which is this one right here, I now have 170.7 QI. So it's not a too big of a boost, but it is still a plus 25% boost, which is really good. So let's just go ahead and equip our best one again. And now let's go ahead and lift something so it renders. There we go. Awesome. I also do recommend getting trails. You don't really need the best trail right off the bat. What I recommend doing is just unlocking this one right once you go ahead and unlock World 2, because you'll have enough wins to afford it. Then just go ahead and grind any of these people, unlock the next world right over here. And then once you're in this world, what you can do is you can make your pets into voids. So how that works is just go ahead and find any pet that is golden. I don't think I have any. But actually, I do. I have some skeleton T-Rexes in here. Awesome. So if you have a pet that is golden, just toss it in. And then five hours later, it will go ahead and turn it into a void just like this, which is pretty nice. So that is pretty good. It doesn't cost like anything extra. Like if you toss them into a gold machine, you only have like a percent chance to get it. So if I toss like this pet in right here, I only have a 20% chance to get it. And for every pet that I toss in, it increases by 20%. But it is a guaranteed chance with the void machine, but it takes five hours. So once you're in world three, though, what I recommend doing is just look for any limited time worlds. Depending on when you're watching this, there might be a Atlantis world right here. It currently says leaving in one week. So if you're watching this like within the first week, there should be an Atlantis world here. But if it's not here, I'm assuming that once this leaves, they're probably going to replace it with a new limited time world. So, so just go ahead and head over here and just grind this. It would kind of reset your strength and all that stuff because it is a different type of strength for each world. But you'll still have all your strength over here but I recommend unlocking this era grinding strength grinding any of these people over here because these pets are really good this pet right here the devil crab from this egg is like twice as good as the best pet that you can get in world four so you're currently in world three and this pet is better than the best pet in world four so these pets are really good for beginning game players highly recommend grinding this egg right here and yeah I believe they did also make it so pets that have the winner enchant now work on these people over here previously if you had a pet that had the winner enchant it wouldn't increase how much wins you got from these people but i believe they did change it now so let's equip our winner pet team let's defeat this person real quick and see how much wins we get from them we got 30 million wins that's pretty good i don't even have my times to win boost on so we would get like 60 million wins so that's like one of these eggs every time we defeat that person also once you're in world three make sure that you do keep getting trails right here and arms those are really good so trails these are good these increase your total strength they don't increase how much strength you get such as if i go ahead and punch this punching bag right here I get 24 trillion per punch and if I go ahead and go over here if I unequip this you'll see that I still get 24 trillion per punch it doesn't increase how much strength you get it just increases the strength above your head so right now I have 478 QI if I equip this right here I now have 1.6 SX so it increases the strength above your head which is how much strength you go ahead and do to these people over here also I forgot to mention if you are a beginning game player all of the strength at the top is pretty much the exact same thing it adds towards your total strength which is right here so it's just like some of them are better to grind than the others such as if i grind bicep strength bicep strength is a lot slower than hand strength right here and yeah i made a whole guide on which ones are the best in every area which i'll just go ahead and tell you all the best ones in like the first three areas are the punching bags even like this one right here if you don't have vip the best one in the first three areas to grind is knuckle strength which is the punching bag so i highly recommend doing that and yeah those are all the beginner tips that i have on armor wrestling simulator though so that's gonna be all for this video so go ahead and leave a like subscribe and on post notifications and i'll see you in the next video